Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderbiss Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbiss Fishing Tips. We're out here on Memorial Day, we're fishing the salt water of Buzzards Bay. We're looking to have a great time and it's an exciting time for me because I love fishing salt water. So stay tuned folks, we're sure to have a great show. That was a good one Phil. That was a nice one. Just a solid, solid thunk. I love it when that happens. You got one too? He's dogging it down there. Oh! A net for that evil? Oh, I'm gonna need a net for sure. Oh man! I, must, I think it's just a big sea bass, but he does not want to come in. There he is. Oh, there. Well, nice it's, one, no, it's not even that big, but it's a decent one. Nice one. He just didn't want to come in. There we go. Not as big as I thought, but. Nice fish nonetheless. So, oh, that was pretty good. We're fishing in, let's see here, 24 feet of water. Water temperature is 65 degrees. Spring came a little bit early this year. A little warmer than normal, but uh, it's working nonetheless. We're gonna stay in this 20 foot zone and uh, keep working this area and hopefully we'll get into some more, uh, some more nice fish. Oh, <laughs> you know what? That's a decent fish. Just jigging that bucktail just ever so slightly. Just trying to finesse him a bit because it's the wind is calming down a bit. And uh, these fish don't seem to be as aggressive on the bite. That could have been me there. Oh, did it cross you? Well, I'm still going to be on this side of you. Okay, I'll just lift him in. This is a bit nasty. It's okay, let me lift it in. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Do I get any credit for that? You don't get any credit for that. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> oh, good hook set, too. I love those hook sets right up the snot. There, I'll let you untangle. It's another decent bit, bass. I think we're eating good tonight. Good one, Phil. Here we go, you yep. You gotta love this jigging for sea bass. Actually, we're catching a variety of fish today, folks. We're using a variety of different baits, and we're just having a great day out here. This saltwater fishing is absolutely fantastic. If you've never had a chance to get out and fish the saltwater, you really need to do so because it's just, it's really unreal. Well, he's dogging today. Eh? He's giving me a good fight. Now, unlike the bass we catch at home, the largemouth and the smallmouth, these sea bass just dog it. They just like to stay down and dog it. They don't, uh, they don't come up and break the surface. They just Power horses, down, down they go. You got that net ready, Evil? Yes, I do. Right here. That's a, That's a nice sea bass. Good one, Phil. Then he give you a little shower to boot. Yeah. Nice fish. That's all right. Nice fish. Like I said, a variety of baits. We're using boa jiggers. We're using viper spoons uh, periodically for, uh, for for blues. Actually, right now today. And uh, and running some bucktail jigs. It's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> check my drag. After you landed that fish, Phil, this is unbelievable, folks. And it's a, it's actually a, another good thing to do when you. Uh, I was bringing my jig back in because I wanted to get ready for another another cast out in the water. But rather than just reeling it in, I jigged it back in. So I kind of jigged it on the way up like that. And whammo, this guy must have been following it, and it just took that little bit extra to trigger him to bite. Sea bass. Oh yeah, oh he switched to the viper spoon, okay. The viper, yeah. All right, nice. Nice little fish. Whoa, that wind, uh, this little bit of chop. Beautiful. There we go. Boy, I love this chop, Phil. This chop, these fish have turned right on again, big time. Man. There's no rest. No. Oh, he feels like a decent fish, too. Oh, wow. Here, do you want to land him or you want me to land him? Uh, I can land him. Here, I'll take the net. You keep fishing. Yeah. This is too much fun. Wow, he's peeling drag now. I got my drag set really, really tight, too. Boy, these fish are strong. Okay. 
Oh, he's not even a huge one. That's a good one, though. Yeah, it's a good one, but... He's not that big. He's big, but I thought he was bigger. But you're right, Phil. Good fish, nonetheless. That's a nice sea bass. Beautiful. Well, we're eating good tonight, folks. I'll tell you that. It's fish and chips for dinner, without a doubt. There's another good fish, Phil. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, this chop has really fired these fish up. This feels like a decent fish, too. Unless, like that other one I had earlier, it's just a fighter. Oh, he's dogging it. Oh, it's an AC bass, Phil. There we go. That's a nice sea bass. Decent. They look bigger in the water. <laughs> That's what. Oh, you got one too? Beautiful. Oh, he's dogging it too, isn't he? Okay, I'll get uh, get him in the box. We'll get yours landed. That's a nice fish. I don't know if he'll measure. I think he's too, he's a bit small. Catch and release, but this guy's going in the box. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We've had a great day out there, eh, Phil? That was fantastic, yeah. Variety of fish, variety of weather that changed on us today, but uh, we had an outstanding time on the water. Thanks so much for tuning in to Thunderous Fishing Tips. And until next time, folks, as always, good luck. Good fishing.